guys, so I just got home from Asda and I thought I would do something really weird and show you what I bought in Asda. So this <laughs> this might be interesting, this might be boring for you. Feel free to skip to the next bit if it's boring. But before I do that, I just want to show you something I bought in B&Q the other week. I bought two samples of laminate flooring. I sound crazy. These were £2 each, I think. And I bought them similar idea to like my marble board thing I've got for flat lace so I bought these to take flat lay pictures with because I thought they were kind of cool distressed kind of floor looking thing I haven't used them for anything yet but two pounds each can't go wrong with that so here we go here is my Asta haul wrapping paper for my dad for Father's Day, just plain blue, very simple. Big bottle of Lucasade pink lemonade because I had a bottle for it the first time the other week and I was like this is amazing and this was only a pound so I had to get it. I got quite a few sweets. <laughs> I got Swizzlers squashies. I love these and I'd never see them anywhere. So I got drumsticks and refreshers because I just love them. I think they were a pound a bag each. I also got magic stars because I love magic stars. They were a pound. I don't remember the price of everything by the way but you know. And fruit pastels from round trees because I love these as well. These are also a pound. So it's four pounds on sweets so far. Got a bottle of bubble bath because this morning I ran out of my Zoella bath soak and although I love that and I have gone through two bottles of that, they're five pounds, which is a lot for a bubble bath, especially when you use it every day like I do. So I got the Bayless and Harding, oh something's leaked. Got the Bayless and Harding Wild Rose and Raspberry Leaf Sensuous Bath Foam, which is leaking I think, so um, good. Good, that's great. I got more sweets. So I got some blackjacks and fruit pastels, which if you don't know are like vintage English sweets. You used to be able to buy them separately for like penny, a penny I think, or 2p. They were called penny sweets. I don't know if you know this, I don't know how old you are or anything like that. So these were around when my kid, when my parents were kids, so and then they were around when I was little, but not so much anymore. And I didn't know you could buy them in packs. I was so happy. I think these were like twenty five p or something. So, so that was good. Asda Cafe Latte, which is basically like a Starbucks frappe thing that they do in supermarkets. I got some summertime passion fruit sparkling which is alcoholic but i don't think it's only 8.5 i don't really know what it is it's sweet style carbonated wine based drink but i just love um passion fruit as a flavor so this is sort of like a passion fruit wine affair kind of thing going on so i thought that sounded rather lovely and this was four pound fifty i am actually quite good at remembering the prices aren't i I think this was three pounds this is baby lips gloss hydrant in the shade taupe with me looks like this yes the color of my nails are lovely i know some command hooks because i need them for something but i don't have that something yet but i thought i'll buy the command hooks for when i do have that something Alpen strawberry and yoghurt bars. These are just put in my handbag when I feel like I might be hungry that day. Gift tags for Father's Day. Charlotte Crosby's Me 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 book because I love her. This is four pounds. Can't go wrong to four pounds. And it's got pictures. Don't you just love autobiographies because they've got pictures. Eight pack of water i always like to have bottled water in my room i normally just put them under my bed so if i wake up thirsty in the night i can just dive down and get a bottle of water i got two bottles of aloe vera drink these were one pound each i got original and strawberry i love these i also got a drop which i don't really know what it's about but i saw this guy here Mr. Tom Hardy, my favourite. 
so I got that. This was five pounds. Oh, it's got the uh, late James Gandolfini in it. Yeah, I have no idea what it's about, but it's got Tom Hardy in it, so it's probably going to be good. Next thing I got was a bra. This was the only bra that I had in my size, but I just wanted a black bra because I don't have a black bra, funnily enough. Four pounds, just a t-shirt one. Boring bra. And yeah, that was everything that I bought at Asta. I was really disappointed with their clothes and home section because most Astas have a massive section for that. Um, but I, I was left a bit... Meh. It was kind of disappointing. But, hey-ho. It's nice to go to a supermarket that you don't normally go to because you kind of feel like you're on holiday, if you know what I mean. Like, you know when you go on holiday and you go shopping in the supermarket and everything's just different like it has all the same stuff you have in every supermarket but everything's different that's how I feel when I go to a new supermarket I feel like I'm on holiday <laughs> but I'm going to go and take all this stuff downstairs that needs to be downstairs keep the stuff upstairs that needs to be upstairs and then I need to edit my weekly vlog for last week hi guys so it's just gone 10 o'clock on Wednesday I've come to get my what was it? Cafe latte from the fridge and now I'm going to hide in my room. <laughs> you guys know what I'm like. I hate hiding in my room. And I'm so messy so it's not really a good combination of being messy and hating to tidy your room. Oh, so I've got all that crap up there as well and Wish me luck. I'm gonna need it. I need a really good Spotify playlist to get me through this as well. <sighs> Give me strength. I'm going. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Where to start though? That's the question. Where the hell do I start? I really wanted to film a video today, but you know when you just think sometimes you've got to put other things first because. I don't have another day off until Monday and it's just going to get messier and messier so I had to prioritise. Sorry. Um, yeah. Let's go. It's five o'clock. I'm kind of done. I need to put clean bedding on my bed but I'm not going to do that until after, until after dinner because I feel like I might pass out if I do that before eating because I've barely eaten anything today so I'm going to wait until I've eaten to do that so it's taken me like what, 6 hours, 7 hours, I don't know because um, I decided to reorganise everything that's under my bed as well so it took a really long time and I kept getting distracted and going and talking to my mum and stuff like that so it took a while so tired and I feel disgusting. I feel like I've got inches of dust just all over me. I can't wait to have a shower. <sighs> yeah. Everything is kind of tidy. I mean, it doesn't look that tidy over there, but it's tidy there. It will be tidy over there once I've put my bedding on and everything. I moved some DVDs to over here because I have an unnatural amount of DVDs. These are all filled with DVDs. I've got two big tubs under my bed that I've got DVDs in. So I thought I would put like either my newest DVDs I've bought or ones that I want to watch soon up here where they're accessible. And then I've got another row behind the back as well. So, yeah, I did intend on doing some ironing today, but it's not gonna happen um i'm gonna just go downstairs and wait for my dinner and then put bedding on and then watch tv and then have a shower or shower and then watch tv something like that so it's nearly 10 o'clock and i am just about to go to bed um so yeah, my room is tidy, I've got clean sheets, didn't bother putting pillowcases on those pillows yet, 
but I've got pillowcases on the main pillows, so it's okay. So yeah, gonna go to sleep. On Thursday morning and I'm ready for work my hair looks crap because it should have been washed really yesterday but then it would have made meant blah, then it would have meant that it was really gross by like Sunday so I'll wash it tonight and it'll be okay because obviously I need clean hair for Sunday because I will be at work so yeah Whenever I use drugstore mascara, I always get it on my uh, eyelid and never bother cleaning off. But whenever I use high end, it never happens. Don't know why. So, yeah. I'm going to go to work now. I hope that none of my flowers come off. I would be quite sad if one came off. Hi guys, so it's Saturday morning. I'm so tired. <laughs> Um, I'm just about to go to work and then after work I'm going to pop into town and go to Primark because I feel like it, even though I went to Westfields last week, but I actually prefer my local Primark to the Westfields one, so that's what I'm going to do. If I don't fall asleep before then, <laughs> I feel like my lipstick is too dark, but I don't really have time to change it. I'm going to say, in case anyone asks me, because I always forget, I'm wearing, um, well, around the lip and then blankety and then a little middle bit, both from MAC. Oh, that moth is going to be the death of me. It's been in my room, like, for ages. Please, please fly away. Hi guys, so I think it's like just gone 5 o'clock. I've been home for a few hours. I'm just about to jump in the shower. I've got a bit in Primark, not a whole lot, but what else did I get? I got some Vita Glow tanning tablets. I thought that was an interesting concept. I'm so pale. <laughs> I really need to tan. I also got the Maybelline a razor eye concealer thing. I wanted to try that for a long time, so I got that. And I also got this thin floral bomber jacket from Select. Looks like that. And then I'm going to add that to my haul of the stuff that I got last week. So, yeah, I'm going to have a shower now. It's um, about quarter to nine or half eight and um, I'm just like getting ready for bed because like I'm really tired and I've already sore throat so I can't tell if that's from the hay fever or if I'm coming down with something because I've got quite a tickly cough as well so I'm just gonna put my TV on and just try to fall asleep but there's people being noisy outside in their garden so so probably not going to happen. <laughs> I've got to wrap my dad's father's day presents tomorrow. It's actually father's day tomorrow, but I haven't done it yet. Sorry. So I've got to do that tomorrow before I go to work. <laughs> I'm going to bed now. I Hopefully you can hear me. I'm trying not to talk too loud in case people out there hear me. But I also can't talk too loud because my throat feels crap, so... <laughs> so it's quarter to seven in the morning my battery's flashing so I don't know how much time I've got before my camera dies so I'm just about to start wrapping my dad's father's day presents <laughs> so tired I just thought I'd show you what I got just one thing because it's really cool so I got my dad a chopping board which has on it David Bowie's face, how cool is that? He's probably not going to want to use it 
or if he does he'll probably use it that side down but I just thought that was so cool it's been like done by burning it I think so cool I love that so yeah I'm gonna start wrapping up my stuff Jin Misfits I think I'm on episode 4 if you've never seen Misfits before but you like like um British humour, like you'll really like this. So funny. What the fuck is going on? Since when did England die? Hi guys, so it's Sunday evening and you can probably tell by my eyes that I'm incredibly tired. Um it's nearly ten o'clock, so I'm feeling pretty tired for me. I'm gonna go to sleep in a bit. I need to cleanse my face and everything, but um I just thought I would show you guys what I got from work today. I feel like my vlogs are just always showing you stuff I bought because I don't really do a lot else. You know, I go to work, I buy stuff, and I show you guys what I buy. Oh, my nose looks really red. Um, that's just the extent of my life, really. My life isn't particularly interesting. Sometimes I edit my vlogs and I'm just like, it's just the same as last week, but what can you do it's not my fault my life's boring <laughs> actually it probably is but yeah I'm gonna show you guys what I bought and I'm gonna put you up there got a DVD I got Only God Forgives with Ryan Gosling um apparently it's not that good but one I love Ryan Gosling Two, I love Drive, and this film is directed by the same director that directed Drive. Um, and the, the disc was really scratched, so we wouldn't have sold it. So I just thought I would ha I would get it uh, to save it being thrown away because I do love Ryan Gosling. So you know. Next, I got a book which I've actually bought for my auntie as a joke present. Her birthday's not till like October though, so I'm gonna have to remember where I keep it. So this is just a joke, and it's a book called Awful Auntie by David Williams and it's actually a children's book um, but I just thought it would be a funny joke present to get her. <laughs> so I got a top from Monsoon, it's navy and you probably can't tell but it has this sort of little pattern on it. You can't really tell but it's quite a basic top with like longer short sleeves if that makes sense. It smells really nice. Whoever donated this had a really nice perfume. I wish I could find out what it is. <laughs> um, next I have another black and white stripy t-shirt. This one's from Marks and Spencers. Just a three quarter length t-shirt. That smells really nice as well. Wow really smells good. It's very rare that you get nice smelling stuff donated, I have to say. So that's that, and it did have a little hole in it as well, which I didn't realise until someone pointed it out to me, but I'll just wear it to work, it's fine. This is from Primark, and it's a dungaree dress. Looks like this. It looks quite short, but I'm sure it'll be okay. I thought that looked quite cute. And then the last thing that I got was a pair of boyf I don't know if they're I don't actually know if they're boyfriend or mum jeans. Mom jeans. These are from Miss Selfridge. And they look like that. <laughs> so yeah, Miss Selfridge jeans. So that is everything that I got from work today. I didn't buy a lot. I was very restrained for once, so yeah. I'm so tired. So this is obviously the end of the week and therefore the end of my weekly vlog. I will vlog again tomorrow. I'm gonna film my prime out call tomorrow. And then I'm going to try and get as much like work type stuff done as possible tomorrow and then on Wednesday I can 
finally watch Orange is the New Black because I haven't seen any of it yet and it's been on Netflix for like two or three days now so I need to watch that. So yeah, I'm going to go cleanse my face and brush my teeth and go to sleep and it will be so good. I love sleep. <laughs> Thanks for watching the vlog guys and I will see you next week maybe before then I don't know but, and I can finally take my hair out wow Oof. kiss you make you feel all right I'm just so tired to share my nights I wanna cry